right, friends, let's get our workspace set up. So I'm gonna show you stinkers that will make a totally new type of juice harp. Get all this nonsense out of here. Collect our tools and materials. We got our bamboo, we got our sandpaper, we got our cutting implements. And for this model, we're gonna need a coping saw as well. So what we'll do first is grab a pen and take our more or less centimeter by centimeter by centimeter piece of bamboo. And we're gonna do a little, little sketch. First, we'll mark off the striking end. I'll leave about a half a centimeter of material. And then we're gonna do a three finger measurement from the line we just drew. On the opposite end of your hand, mark off another line. From there, two fingers. Same deal. Oh, that's not very straight. Let's, let's go ahead and straighten that out. And then we'll give it another half centimeter on this side for the border. This end will be the handle. This is where the reed will go. And this will be the upper arms of the pendulum. Start by sawing right here. Not straight down, but with a slight angle toward your hand. We want to go down about three quarters of the way through the wood. You can see the angle I put, and we'll begin removing this later on uh, when we tune the instrument. Cut two will be on the left side of this line. You're gonna go straight down, but you only want to go about halfway through the wood. Good. Same thing for the other side. Set that aside for now. You gotta chip away this section. Now what I do is I'll take the point of my knife, dig it in right at the bottom of that cut. I'll lower the belly of the blade across the fibers and just press and rock. It comes right out. From here you level it out with a few shaving cuts. Awesome. So this is where we'll unearth our reed. But first, on the back side, the bark side, we want to do a little removal of the bark. This will help us later on when we attempt to free the movable parts from the frame. Now to achieve this, I've done two perpendicular cuts. Now I'm gonna lower the belly into those small grooves and slide forward just until I get to the other one. Perfect. So from here, we'll sort of sketch out a rough outline of where our pendulum will be located. a series of angled cuts from each end until we freed it all the way to the other side.
See? Now we've begun breaking through to the other side. So we'll just continue until I can see just enough through either side of the reed itself. see we've broken through pretty well on either side and I'm just going to use a little piece of sandpaper to even it up and clean out those grooves. At this point, I'd like to free this far end from the source material. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a small chisel. You don't have to use a chisel. You can use any type of cutting instrument uh, that you have at your disposal. I actually burned on a box cutter, so you don't need anything fancy to get going with one of these projects. Although I will say that over time, the disposable blades do add up cost and uh, it is advisable at some point to just go ahead and make the plunge and buy a proper uh, chip carving knife or something along those lines. Now what we'll do is from the underside we'll try to cut this little little bit of material deep enough to meet on this end. With any luck Push it right on through with uh, nothing more than a little hand strength. There we go. I don't know if you'll be able to see it too well, but we've got our reed all set up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark off the weight of our pendulum. It's going to be in the center of the whole, uh, I don't know what you call it, lamella. That's what it is. I'm going to do the same thing that we did before. I'm going to make an initial cut on the underside and remove the bark make it easier once we've penetrated through. Perfect. Now from here, actually, what I'd like to do before we go any further Clean up these insides. Right here, at the base of the pendulum's weight. Because we're gonna need to free up just a little space on either side. And you'll see exactly why a little further down the road. Now at this point, we're going to begin shaving off the material 
from the striking end to the pendulum. I'm going to do that by just lowering the belly of the blade and slowly sliding forward. If you can't do this very controlled, you can actually use two hands, the belly of the blade down, and your thumb on the spine, and just have your thumb do the work. Your knife should be pretty sharp, so you shouldn't need to use too much force. This is where we split the arms from the pendulum. It takes a little bit of practice. Sort of map out where you're going to go for it. You're going to want to pinch these together, both sides of the striking end. Lower the belly down until the point reaches the thinnest part of the bamboo. Get the point in and slowly rock it back until it splits. The reason you're pinching the button is because if you don't, you can actually split all the way to the top. And that's not something you really want to do. So we'll do the same exact motion, pinching hard other side. Beautiful. And there you have it. The cuts obviously are at an angle, but that's okay because the bamboo is still thick at this point. We're going to begin shaving more away as we tune the instrument down. So what we're going to work toward now is freeing this center nodule of bamboo from the pendulum. Could have been a winner. <laughs>